Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I actually do my makeup today, so I feel good about making a video. Um, this is Kara from Rump Raves. Um, today I have another unboxing video. So, I'm pretty sure that this is the Yuki Cup. Uh, it's almost completely in another language. But it's from the Czech Republic and it has their little the Yuki Cups sterilizing container, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We'll see. Make sure I don't cut into anything that's not supposed to be cut. Ooh, that's some heavy duty packing. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I see is this. Oh, it's the box that it comes in. Okay, so... Practical, non-toxic, antibacterial, ecological, and e economic. So it's one small, soft, medical quality. It has a new infuser box. It shows you how to sterilize it right there. I got good lighting today, so that's good. Um, uh, the, English isn't the first language, sorry. Um, women's hygiene, hygienic aid. Modern alternative to sanitary pads and tampons. And that's it on that. We can get this open more. Okay, so I remember the Yuki cup does not come with a pouch. It just comes with the sterilizer container. So this is it. Sterilizer container. It just has a little tab that you pull on and open it. It says Yuki on the top. And also... um kind of in lifted up letters it says green world yuki www.yuki.cz which is check the check of the book um it's not a recyclable container and then it just comes like that in the box when you get it here are the instructions the cup just comes in a bag. It says Yuki Menstrual Cup. We are glad that you have chosen Yuki, the menstrual cup. Your Yuki is made from medical silicone and is sh its shape ensures comfortable use. Alright, so this is... It's not tiny letters, but they're small. Oh, it's in... many different languages. Um, English, Polish, French, German, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. Alright, so the English is the only one I need to look at. Before insertion, um, talks about cutting the stem. Uh, make sure you don't cut into the cup itself boiling it in, in its little sterilizer. Um, washing your hands. I love it when they mention that. It shows a cup fold. It shows the punch... Oh no, it's the C fold actually. It looks like it's gonna be the punch down fold because they have a finger in like that. But then it's actually the C fold. Um, okay, so that's all just insertion. The removal... So it, it just tells you to figure out how long you need and to know when you need to take it out. Uh, they do make a good suggestion here. If you don't have access to water, like if you were in a public bathroom, you can take a small bottle of water with you into the uh, stall, into the toilet stall, and you just kind of rinse it out into the toilet. <laughs> Cup cleaning. Uh, just keep it clean, leave it in the original package. Uh, it is ventilated because the top where it says Yuki are actually the ventilation holes, if you can tell. Yeah? That's neat. Because you're not, you're not supposed to store it in an airtight container, and you're also not supposed to store it in, like, a plastic bag. It says if any, if any problems come up, just contact your doctor. Health problems, that is. So that's it. 
And here is the cup. Ooh, I like the feel of the silicone. It's really nice feeling. It's a shiny cup. It says Yuki on the inside. It says one for size one. And it has five milliliters and 10 milliliters for measuring markings. There are four suction release holes, evenly spaced. And they slant upwards. I'm pretty sure you could see that. Yeah, they slant upwards. Really good grip rings. Um, it's solid at the very top of the stem. It's a really squishy stem. It's a little bit stretchy. Not as defined grip rings on the stem. They're just kind of barely there, but they do help. Um, yeah, like I said, really good grip rings on the cup. If you suffer from chafing, they're not really rough, but they're really pronounced. So that might not be the best cup for you. Uh, but the words are all on the inside. So there would be no difficulty from chafing from those, except if you turn your cup inside out. I can show you what it looks like inside out. Just like that. Not really too different. Um, it's a pretty subtle rim. I like subtle rims, so that's good. It does have like a double rim. So there's like a rim that starts here, and then there's the actual rim there. Uh, but it, it's not really a difference in firmness at the bottom or the top. It is quite a firm cup to be a soft cup, because this is the soft. One small soft. So... I've heard that their large size is very, very big, and it's a really high capacity cup, which would be good if you have a really heavy flow. But you need to make sure that you can actually use a larger cup, because you don't just use a larger cup because you have a heavy flow. Um, I would probably say this cup would hold 20 to 25 milliliters, if you can see the markings there, where the 10, the 10 is about halfway up. So I would say 20 to 25. Really neat looking silicone. It's not completely clear. It has just kind of a glow to it, which is cool. Um, it is, it's stickier than the kind with the peach fuzz finish, but it's not sticky sticky. So I think with any fold, it would just slide in really easily. Uh, I just did the C fold there. I can show you what that looks like. Punch down fold. This is a really poppy cup. Punch down fold, pretty small tip, not the smallest. Um, half diamond fold, this one might be hard to hold. Yeah, I don't know if you'd wanna do the half diamond fold because if it popped open and you didn't have it all the way in yet, that might hurt. Um, I can compare it to another cup real quick. Sorry, I didn't get these out before. Okay. Ruby cup. I always compare to the ruby cup, just so you know. Oh, got fuzz on it. Okay, there's the lengths. So they're pretty close. The ruby cup looks to be just a little bit longer. Rims, ruby cup is a little bit wider. Actually quite a bit. Okay, um, I don't remember what the ruby cup stem was like. Hmm. Okay, well, firmness. So yeah, the Yuki is <laughs> quite a bit firmer. But it, it doesn't really feel that firm when I'm just feeling it. But then I guess compared to the ruby cup, it does. Um, I think my firmest cup is the moon cup, so I can compare it to that. Lengths. The moon cup is a really long cup. It doesn't work for me personally. Rims. Bigger rim. Moon cup has a huge double rim thing going on. Uh, firmness.
So they're pretty close. Try to get the rims exactly on. I think the moon cup is softer at the base, but I think that it's a little bit firmer at the rim. So the stem is really nicely finished off. If you can tell, it's just kind of rounded at the end, which is nice because if you actually wanted the entire stem on, I don't think it would bother you at all. And it's really soft and just kind of bends everywhere, which would be nice so that you don't feel it while it's in, but then you can still grab it and it's good enough to be able to get it out with. And I really like the grip rings. I cannot get over these grip rings. They're so easy to grab, but they don't stick out. The Maluna grip rings, I'll get out a Maluna cup. This is the medium mini. The Maluna grip rings are like rough. I still like them. They don't bother me. But these, in comparison, they're so smooth. I don't know if you can even tell the difference just from seeing it, but feeling them, that's amazing. There, so there, there's four of them. And then there's also four on the stem. Okay, I just had one more thing that I forgot to mention about the container. Um, it has Yuki Cup, well, first, yeah. It has Yuki Cup written right there. It's kind of hard to see. It's very light right there. And then over here, it shows what the water level, sh level should be for each size, and it shows the wattage and time for sterilizing. So there's the wattage and time down at the bottom. Sorry, that's really hard to do. So six minutes at 750 watts. And then it just has a picture of a microwave. And then there's the water level for a large cup. And there, there's the water level for a small cup. And then right there, it just says water level right there. Okay, I guess that's it for the Yuki Cup. Um, subscribe if you like my videos and you want to keep up with them. And that's it.